choice but to call the police. It could get Rosie into all sorts of trouble. But for XL, do you want to find her, don't you? Of course I do. But if Rosie has stolen that lottery money... What do you mean, if? My daughter's not a thief. Well, she stole my client list for Tony Flipping Gordon. No, and that was stupid, but she thought she were helping. She thinks she's so sophisticated, but a bit of flattery from a man. What, you think someone else put it up to this? Well, what about that Sarge? More reason to call the police! Me and Sarah only split because I wouldn't go to Milan. Ha <laughs> talk about rewriting history. You two split up because Sarah thought it was less important being married to you than getting one over on David and nicking his job in Italy. I can't imagine Becky treating you like that. Or, uh, maybe I shouldn't be mentioning her name, eh? Bill, this isn't about Becky. Of course it is, lad. You're setting up home together. All right, all right. I need to think. Well, yeah, that'll be a start. Ta-da! Oh, cheers, <laughs> thanks. I'll expect breakfast in bed in return for this when we start living together. Come here. What was that for? That's what I like for breakfast. Can we go and look for a sofa after work? Some that squash we can cuddle up on when it's cold and rainy outside. Becky, we haven't even got a deposit yet. I was only worrying about furniture. Look, I'm busy. I'll speak to you in a bit. She didn't say out to you some clever remark about suddenly being rich? No. If anything, she was going on about how broke she was from holiday. You see, none of this makes any sense at all. I hope you're not going on that she's not done it. Rosie is a silly girl, not a bad one. She's got 25 grand in the bank, Mum. It's not come from the two fairy, has it? Did you know your daughter did the lottery? Well, she bought tickets for the syndicate at work. Which you're a part of, so basically she's robbed you and all. Oh, reveling it, Sophie, why don't you? No one's reveling in itself. You and Rosie argued with her threatening to leave home, and suddenly there's the temptation of a lottery windfall. Joe, sure, we're all study, worrying ourselves stupid while she's off wiggling and giggling like she's queen of the world. Sophie! Look, I know how this looks, but she would have been in touch. Unless she's had the good grace to feel ashamed. I've checked with the bank. Off the record, some money has been withdrawn from the account since the statement was issued. So much for being ashamed. How much? Well, I don't have details, but it could be enough to travel well away from Manchester. But where without a passport? I don't believe any of this. It's just not rosy. Kevin, you've got to agree with me, surely. So when are you going to bail out? Hey. Bin me off. It's no fun, is it, going out of an ex-jailbird who can't get a job? <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought I'd nip down to Old Trafford this afternoon, pick up a football or two. Yeah, you could, though, looking like you do. Ah, oh. But they'd never say out sweet like that, would they? So maybe I won't bother. Hey, is any news on Rosie? Yeah. She's a thieving scumbag who's done a run-up with 25 grand of the lottery winnings from the factory. What? Rosie, seriously? Ask the police. Makes everything you've done look a bit tighter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm no longer the baddest kid on the street, then. Respect to Rosie. Is this true? Yeah. I didn't think she was bright enough to pull off, either. Oh, your mum and dad must be devastated. Yeah. You know, to most people, she'd be the daughter from hell. But to my mum and dad, she's little miss perfect. It's just me they don't bother about. Of course they do. Is anybody ringing to ask where I am? That'll be a no. They probably think you're at school. We talk, they don't care. I always thought Rosie was the selfish one. And here you are playing truant just because you're not getting any attention. Well, don't you think I get it from school as well? Oh, how's your sister she back yet? Have they found her? You're so bothered about people obsessing over Rosie, and here you are doing exactly the same. No, I'm not. I didn't think of it like that. Well, maybe you should. I always thought you had a bit more about you, and you playing up just now is the last thing your mum and dad need. I suppose. Get off to school before somebody does notice. Okay. 
Call in at the cabin later. We'll have a competition. Who can wind Norris up the quickest? Oh, yours. Thanks, Mrs Connor. I won't let you down. Oh, I know. Cos you're probably thinking, if I do, she'll sack me, you know what? You're right. <laughs> uh, what's in there? Well, if you won't tell me where we're going, I have to cover all eventualities, don't I? DC Timmons News and more questions. Bit of both. Information's come to light suggesting Rosie might have disappeared of her own volition. Oh. So time is in the clear then. Until we find her, I won't make any assumptions. I'd like to talk to your staff if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. They're just about to go on the tea break anyway. Do you need us? Maria and Liam are waiting, sweetheart. If I need to catch up with you, I've got your mobile numbers. Going far? Not too far. We're just going away for the weekend. Somewhere. No problem. If she's going to ask us who had a grudge against Rosie, this could take all day. You just do enough to buy your lottery tickets, though. Cheers. Roy, are you pleased for me moving in with Jason? Uh, well, it's, it's, it's a big step in, in any relationship cohabiting. Yeah, and I've never lived with a bloke before. You, yeah, but you're not a bloke. I mean, you're not, you're not a bloke like that. I, I do appreciate the difference, yes. So you don't think it's a big fat boo-boo, do you? No. No, well, <laughs> you do already live with him, in, in a way. Yeah, and we his mum. So if I can do that, having him on his own's a doddle. Best to guard against complacency. Right. Hmm, the only thing now, though, is a deposit. Maybe I could get a few extra shifts in Rovers. Uh, in, in the light of what happened with Steve MacDonald, it might not be the best idea. Hey, I bet I could get a few bob for this in precinct. Your necklace? Yeah, with my name on. It's got more gold than this tat. Why, I couldn't have been called Anastasia. Be worth a flipping fortune. Dad, all I'm asking is that you don't sell the shop from under me. Well, yeah, I can raise it. <laughs> What's it matter to you where from? Yeah. Okay, I'll give you a call the minute I get the money, yeah? Okay, yeah, cheers. Right, that money from your uncle, when can you get it? Uh, I can have a word with Janice later if you like. If I like, you've just heard that phone call. Uh, you could ask nicely. Yeah, all right, I'm sorry, babe. You just must think I'm a muppet. I just can't believe my own dad's messing me about like this. Well, if I put my money into the business, you can forget all about him, and you'll get a junior partner you can boss about. Partner? Well, yeah. I mean, we're a couple, aren't we? We work together, we live together, so may as well get everything off on a proper footing. Yeah, right. I'm sure we can uh, work something out. You haven't got Rosie stuffed in there, have you? Not funny, Liam. The girl's still missing. She'll be with her boyfriend. I put money on it. So, uh, where are we going? Where's the fun in life with a few surprises along the way? Mm, it's worth a try. So, you two, you coming or what? So, you're telling me that Rosie had done a bunk with our winnings? Little cow! You can't be certain of that. My mum says Rosie gave you the lottery tickets a couple of weeks back. Yeah, well, all losers, though. You checked them? I did. I think Ros need to check some more in. How oh, sneaky. Innocently handing over all those tickets except the one worth a fortune. Oh, the amount of times I've stuck up for her. And how does the Weatherfield Barbie repay me? Runs off with my money whilst trying to work out how many pairs of shoes and skimpy tops she can buy with £25,000, which hopefully might make a tiny bimbo brain explode. Uh, we will get it, though, won't we? It's not up to me. My job is to find out what's happened to Rosie. Well, when you do, tell her not to bother showing her face round here again. But she won't be able to just spend it, though. Nobody's touching that bank account without us knowing about it. Gail! Oh. Is it right what Audrey said? The sir might be coming back. I told her in confidence. Is it, that? It's possible. Why? Not that it's any of your business, but she's been seeing someone and it's not worked out. Serious? 
Well, you've hardly let the grass grow, Jason. So she means that she might be coming back? Look, I really don't think she'd want me talking to you about it. All right. When you do talk to her, we tell I was asking after her, eh? Sometimes. At least Jason's got too much going on to notice me and you together. Might be no bad thing if he did. Not having to sneak around. We like dodgems the number of times we bump into each other. I just don't want David and Tina to find out yet. You're that ashamed of me. I'd just rather wait until David's got a job. Give him something to focus on. And then I don't think they care if we down snake it down the street. So if he gets a job, I can show me Fandango to your neighbours. If he gets a job, I'll show them mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold you to that. <laughs> <laughs> a little proposition for you. Any other man but you said that to me. The deposit for your flat, I, I could loan you the money. You do that? Well, I, I'd hate to see you have to sell your necklace. I'd... Roy, that is mega tough. Well, I, I will deduct it from your wages. What's up? The police. They know about the money. They can't do how? Webster's got a bank statement. If we touch a penny, we'll go to prison. You've already had hundreds. Well, that was before anybody knew there even was an account. Never mind. When they find out who's opened it, we'll go to prison anyway. Hey! Roy has just won Man of the Century. He's answered on prayers. Do you know the number of women that said that about Roy? I've lost count. The deposit? I've got my share because Roy's lending me it. Good news, that lad, eh? Yeah, really good. In it! Oh, hey, and top priority, we've got to look for that sofa, yeah? Uh, well, um, we are quite busy, aren't we, Bill? Ooh, busier than you believe. <laughs> Very swish. Oh, I am so looking forward to this. Be costing you a fortune. And worth every penny. It's one of the best spas in the country, so make sure you use it. Mm. What the heck is all this made of? What are you two whispering about? Nothing, sorry. If you're worried I'm not picking up the bill, then don't. Oh, Liam, what do you like? Some sort of game. You're asking me? Well, does he suspect anything about us or the business? There is no us, remember? And if we knew anything, we wouldn't be wearing a jolly weekend together, would we? Tony, this is little flair. Yeah. <laughs> Despite what your husband thinks, there's more to do at the weekends than watch Man City. <laughs> hey. You and me could still fall out big time. No, there's one rule this weekend. No one falls out with anyone. <laughs> OK? Well, the police have only just found out, haven't they? They won't have had time to do out. Well, how long does it take to make a phone call? Yeah, but they can't prove it's stolen, can they? For all they know, it could be roses. Well, it doesn't feel right now, any road. Why not? Leanne, the police think that Rosie has done a bunk with all the money. Yes, exactly, so they're not looking for anybody else, are they? Yes, they won't be looking for Rosie neither. And there's only me and you know that she hasn't got that money. Yeah, well, I've promised the money to Dan now. Well, you'll just have to unpromise it to Dan. But he needs it. Well, just tell him that somebody's contesting the will or something. Ugh, we should have just taken it all out straight away. What can I get you? Jumping. 
Champagne, is that all right? Ooh. Why not? I'll bring it off. Mm. I could get used to this. As long as he's paying. <laughs> It'd be nicer if it was just the two of us, darling. Uh, tell me about it. Hmm. Promise me one thing. Hmm? Do not leave me on my own with Carla, please. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> oh, there you go. Kebab. No, Ta. Do you know where your mother is? Oh, when people ask that, she usually owes them money. Do you? Don't know, don't care. Why? Well, I've just seen her in the precinct, drunk. Oh. Is that it? Oh. This is your mother we're talking about. The worst thing you can say about your dad is he's a bit cheesy. My mum, where do I start? Well, I'll take over here if you want to go see her. You know in them horror films where there's an escaped loony on a rampage and a group of kids in an house and one of them goes, <gasps> There's something in the cellar. And they have to investigate. Well, for cellar, think precinct. I thank you. So how did you find this place, then? The scene of one of my finest triumphs. Oh, yeah? Lisa Wardington. Oh, I do not believe this. You've brought us to where you came with one of your girlfriends. No, it's nothing like that. She was my head of sales. She was acting a little, um... Oddly, I knew something was wrong. So what did you do? So I started checking up. Turns out she was having an affair with my biggest rival, Richard Shaw. One weekend, he brought her here. Man had style, I'll give him that. A concerned friend told her husband, a rugby player. So this bloke Shaw got her going over and you kept your hands clean? I haven't finished yet. Shaw's wife also got a call. Let's just say the divorce was very quick and very painful. So you ruined his marriage out of spite? No, not just out of spite. The divorce was also very expensive. He needed every penny he could get his hands on, so I helped him out. How? I bought his business for a song. By that time, Lisa was working for him, so I got the pleasure of sacking her as well. Don't mess about you, do you? She betrayed me. Come on, drink up. There's a cellar full of this stuff, apparently. Mm. I've decided I'd have to be at my all-time lowest before I even thought about asking Daryl for a job. And I'm going round there later. It's not that bad. Look who's here. But yeah, we just bumped into each other. Like dodgings. Are you skiving? Yeah, working for yourself takes all the fun out of it. Any luck on the job front? Nah. I've ruled out the police and been an airline pilot. How about working for me? What? Fit in kitchens? Well, don't make it sound so bad. No, no, I mean, yeah. Fitting, designing, selling, interesting work, varied. Well paid. Don't push it. Are you practical? Well, I'm a fast learner. Well, in that case, a three-month trial should be plenty. You want time to think about it? No. Cheers. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Don't know how to thank you. Take dancing lessons. What are you talking about? Nothing. Start Monday? Yeah. Great. Thanks. You and Carla should check out the spa. Put all the treatments in my room. Oh, um, I thought that I might try and persuade Liam to come with me, actually. Things aren't still awkward with you and Carla, are they? I thought all that nonsense between you and her was in the past. Well, yeah, I suppose it is. Well, especially now that Liam's not working with her. They hardly see each other now. No. Yeah. I, I want the past left in the past. That's why I organised this weekend. <laughs> Tony, it was a brilliant idea. It's just me being pathetic, that's all. Thank you. <laughs> Put one in the box and call it everybody organic. Right, you ready to put the spa? Uh, what are you two gonna do? I'm gonna get some fresh air. I'm gonna have a chat. <laughs> what about? Nothing to bother you. Come on. What's so important, Tony? Just a chat between two guys. Fancy checking out the cabin. I've heard it's quite spectacular. 
Oh, well, I think Liam's had too much to drink. The fame, have you? Why don't you go when you're both sober? Yeah. I mean, are you sure this is a good idea? He's in safe hands, Maria. Trust me. Uh, garlic sauce? Oh. Oh, do you mind? What? Garlic. Yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, it's after. I've been waiting for you. Oh, sorry. Thanks. So the money, have you, uh, have you got it? Oh, um, well, I I've not been able to see oh. Janice yet. Well, I need it today, don't I? Yeah, I know. We'll go across to the factory if you have to. Lee, this is important. Yes, all right, Dan, I will get it. Sorry, it's my appetite now. Reckon that's it for lunchtime? So? Your mother, remember? Amber, the woman is a nightmare. I don't even know what she's still doing round here, any road. You're all she's got. Oh, thanks. I feel so much better. What are you going to do? I don't know. Daryl! All right. I'll wait till we close, and then I'll go see if she's still there. But there's still time for one or two more customers, yeah? A couple of donors is more important than your own mum. <laughs> a couple? One's more important. OK. Why have we come here? You're not worried, are you? Should I be? Fear of the unknown or anything specific. No. You've got no idea how much I've been looking forward to this. It'll all end in tears. We're back on the streets in half an hour.